Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the circle of influence on a golf course, okay? So massive thank you to my sister-in-law Tara. This one is inspired by you. I think your blogs are absolutely amazing. I'll attach the link to this video for you guys to all check out. Okay, so the circle of influence on a golf course. Whoever finds himself getting frustrated, getting stressed out quite easily on a golf course when something's not your fault. Okay, so your ball hits me of the fairway and kicks way left into the rough or the trees. It's so annoying. The feelings that you can take with you could really affect your next shot. Okay, so we are looking at the circle of influence today. So the circle of influence, what does that mean? So I'm going to draw a little diagram for you here. Okay, so we've got a circle and everything inside the circle is what we can influence, okay? So we can control, influence our swing, our mind, sort of feelings, similar thing, but I'm gonna write that down. Our decision making, which leads on to course management. and our reactions, okay? So everything in this circle is what we can influence on the golf course, okay? What we can't influence is the weather, okay? So this gets put outside of the circle. We can't influence the leaderboard. We don't know what anyone else is doing, okay? Our playing partners, we can't influence bad lies, bad bounces, Okay, that is the game of golf, that's why we love it. Crazy things can happen. You know, course conditions. Like, if, especially if you're playing in the winter now, the course condition, they could be going through maintenance week. You know, we can't influence that, okay? So why get stressed about the things outside of our circle, okay? We can't influence this, okay? Don't waste your time and energy being concerned about everything that's outside of the circle, okay? You've got to think about your swing, you've got to think about your mind, your feelings. If you really focus on what's in this circle, then your game can be so much better. You're going to think differently on the golf course. You could have had the worst bounce and the worst luck in your whole entire golfing career, okay? But if you keep your feelings and your mind and you keep calm, you can just carry on onto your next shot. You've got to accept that that is golf. We can't do anything about it. Okay, so when you're next out playing, just write a few things down or use this circle. Think about the things you can influence when you're on the golf course. Don't worry about the things you can't influence. Okay, I hope that helps, guys. Good luck when you're next playing golf. Let me know how you get on. Any questions, please just let me know. Okay, happy golfing to you all and thank you so much for watching.